Hey, hello everybody. This is the gang from Troop 247. We're here to get you ready for your 2017 Klondike Derby. So today's lesson is going to be on how to make a stretcher out of just a rope. So pay attention to the lessons learned because it's the skill set you're going to need when you get out there this year. First knot you're going to need to know is the clove hitch. And it is a, a series of overhand loops in the same direction. Take the first loop and put it on top of the second loop and you have the knot. It should look like an X. The next one is the half hitch. Right? We all learned this when we were young scouts. It should look like two fingers grabbing that rope. Alright, so the first thing you want to do is find the center of the rope. And to do this, you take the two ends of the rope and then you spaghetti out the rope until you reach the middle. So now I found the center of the rope and we're going to begin the construction of the stretcher. Alright, here we have the center of the rope. We're going to lay that on the ground. We're going to make a series of eight loops that are about shoulder width apart. Four going one way, four going the other. So we're going to secure these eight loops with a series of clove hitches. Go ahead. A series of clove hitches. Those clove hitches will be about six to eight inches apart. So the closer you have the clove hitches together, the more secure the stretcher will be. So once you make the clove hitch, you'll pull that loop through and just just leave a few inches coming out and that'll, that'll all tie together in a minute. Construction is almost complete. So the, the guy on this side is going to loop his rope around and run it through all of these loops that we made with our half hitches. And our scout from the other side is going to run his loop through the other way. This will tie the stretcher together so it won't come untied. So then stretch your stretcher back out, neaten it up. So you'll lay the stretcher out next to your patient and you're going to roll him towards you, keeping in mind that he could have spinal injuries. So you do it on three and you'll roll him up onto your legs. Keep rolling, keep rolling, keep rolling. And we'll put the stretcher underneath him as deep as you can and roll him back. Next part of this is we're going to secure him to the stretcher with a series of zigzags. Demonstrate, boys. We're going to be careful not to drag our rope across, across our patient's face or any of his vital areas, like his neck. And we're going to secure him snugly, but not too tight that it's going to restrict his breathing. We're trying not to step over our patient while we're doing this. And once we reach the end, we'll secure off that rope.
right, so we'll finish this by tying it off in any number of ways. What I'm gonna do here is just double up the rope since I have a little bit of extra rope. I'm gonna double it up and I'll use that half hitch. Take the, take the rest of the rope and I'll coil it up and tuck it out of the way. All right, so the last piece is we're gonna pick up our patient Keep it in mind that he's injured and we don't want to cause an injury, so we'll grab our side handles and we'll lift on three and we're going to lift with our legs. One, two, three. And then we'll safely carry him off. All right, so that's how you make a, a stretcher out of a rope. We look forward to seeing you at the 2017 Klondike Derby. Remember, boys, practice, practice, practice.